Hello. Hope you're ready for your next lesson. Uh, so your idioms for today is put a sock in it. You should tell someone who is being noisy to be quiet. You're going. You're giving me a headache. Put a sock in it, yelled Mum. Put a sock in it. The film is about to start. Called Tom to his friends. Buckle down, which means to get on with your work. Jess finally buckled down and completed her homework. Uh, work your socks off to work very hard. Gus worked his socks off to complete his essay. Fit like a glove to fit well. This new coat fits perfectly. It fits like a glove. Your two spellings for this for today are apparent and appreciate. Okay, so our lesson today is to be able to draft an informal letter. So your success criteria is I can write in role as Jim. I can write an introduction. Why are you writing your letter? I can write in a chatty manner. I can speak to the recipient Rose directly. So here are some ideas that you can use in your ideas to really push the fact that it's informal language. So question tags, I'll start up in the left hand corner. Um, would go to no man's land. Crazy, right? You know how much I like my sleep, don't you? So the chatty manner. Uh, use of exc exclamation marks. Tommies and all. Repulsive latrines, which are trench toilets. Ugh. Use of parenthesis for personal commentary. So if you had a sentence and then you were just wanted to chat in your own view, like my hopes, I saved it for later. That means you're a beauty. I give an example of this in my letter in a little while in my example. Conversational style, language and idioms. I've been working my socks off. We just had that one. Having the time of our lives. Blind as a bat. It's been ages since I saw you. Um, rhetorical questions are directly addressing the reader. How are things back in Blighty? Or what do you think about that? Something like that. Nice and chatty. Don't forget your question mark. Slang. So here are some slang words that we use in the army, which you could use within your writing. So Blighty means Britain. Archie, a word for British Plains. Crump hole, it's a ditch left by a bomb. Daisy cutter. A blonde bomb, sorry, a bomb that explodes on impact. Deco, to have a deco at something is take a look at something. Iron rations, when rations are low and dry food. A bit like the biscuit that Jim was eating once he'd given his chocolate to Otto. Napu, none left, completely destroyed. Latrine, toilet, as we said earlier. Bosch, the Germans. Bully beef. Beef eaten from tins. We saw this um, on in our first lesson. We looked at the photographs. Use of prevent, prevent. Oh, just, I've done that bit. Sorry. Using apostrophes for colloquial contractions. So it's a bit like saying, "Yeah, right, in it." So when you're missing letters out of your words, you can put an apostrophe um, where he may be saying him. He'd be like, "Im, im over there." So it's just um, not fully. Um, pronouncing the words correctly, which you can do in chat, is a great way of using um, informal language. Purposeful misuse of standard English. Rather than we were playing, you could go, we was playing, or um, it was like we were old friends. It were, it were like. So it's just using uh, pro sorry, standard English incorrectly. This is the only chance in writing, guys, that you can do this. So make the most of it. Otherwise, normally we put a grammar mark above it. OK, yesterday you planned your letter home. Um, this is an example of what I might write in my first opening paragraph. So I've taken um, what I've used yesterday and just uh, embellished it quite a lot. So to my darling Rose, how are things back in Blighty? It's been ages since I saw you last. You won't believe what happened the other day. I was enjoying one of those delicious crackers from our iron rations when I was handed a package. I opened it and took out a picture of you and a note. Thanks for the chocolate. It's nothing like the bully beef we have here at the trenches. I saved it for later. That afternoon, we sat there for what seemed like an eternity until finally we heard something. 
It was a Bosch singing Silent Night. Who knew so many grown men had warm hearts? I didn't. War had taken that from me. So you've got lots of examples there. You've got Blighty at the top, a rhetorical question. Um, you've got the delicious, like a side joke, crackers. Obviously, they're not delicious. They're disgusting. Um, you've also got there, um, after it says, like the bully, bully booth, we have ear. So missing the H and popping an apostrophe there instead. I saved it for later. So that's just telling Rose what she did with what he did with the chocolate. Um, and then there's um, poor spelling. Eternity should be... Um, spelt with an e and finally double l so it's it's on purpose um misspellings so there are some examples of how you can use what we just looked at okay moving on so this is your turn now you're going to write a draft letter to rose remember you are writing in role as jim so you will be saying i miss you i have a, something amazing to tell you you are the author of your letter Using your planning sheet from yesterday's lesson, build your ideas into a chatty letter. If you prefer to write on some scrap paper first and copy it up like we do in class, please do so. Leave a line in between each paragraph. Do not label your paragraphs when writing um, your ideas. Uh, look back at slide four, the one we've just looked at previously, about informal language and punctuation if you need to, to get some ideas. Um, Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave you there. Um, good luck with your writing. I'm hoping for it to be a little bit funny, even though he is obviously living in a trench. But um, good luck.